All right, in this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating the process and setting up the AirPods Pro second generation for those of us that are running iOS 15, uh, like myself. So the reason you might wanna do this is you might have a device, for example, that can't update beyond iOS 15, or you, like me, don't want to update to iOS 16 for uh, bug reasons and or there may be some other folks that might be staying on iOS 15 for business reasons or feature support for legacy applications whatever the reason is uh, there's folks that are sticking to staying on iOS 15 the process is actually very simple as it would be to setting it up on a iOS 16 device and so all you have to do which is the same thing you just open the case and it's going to kind of recognize it. It's going to make a little sound. And straight away, there we go. So what you're going to see from this little prompt menu here is it's going to ask you to update your phone, which in my case and in the purpose of this video, that is not what we're going to be doing. So you can do that. You can check for an update straight from here and go straight to iOS 16 or whatever the most recent or current iOS version is. However, in this particular case, we're gonna choose the option down here that says set up with limited functionality. And effectively what that means is you're gonna still be able to use the AirPods with your iOS 15 device, but you're gonna not be able to have functions such as adaptive transparency mode, as well as some other features that are specific to having iOS 16 installed on your device. So let's go ahead and set it up with the limited functionality. So it's gonna, there we go, so it connected. And so we get to actually set up a few things here. Uh, so we can set up Hey Siri straight from here. In my case, I'm not gonna do that. And then right away, you actually do get to see the battery percentage on the AirPods, which is something that a few forum posts have been floating around saying that you actually cannot see the battery percentage on the uh, AirPods on an iOS 15 device. However, this proves right here that you actually indeed can see the battery, which is great. Um, so right at this point, everything should be set up and ready to go. So if we hit continue, uh, you do actually get a six month free trial of Apple Music if you buy a pair of AirPods. Uh, connect it to your iPhone. So you do get that, but in my case, I'm again not gonna do that. And then that's basically all you gotta do. Um, from this point on, uh, these AirPods are now going to be connected to your device running iOS 15 with a few caveats on changing some of the settings. So the way to change settings on these particular second generation AirPods Pro is different than it would be if you were running iOS 16, obviously. So what we're gonna wanna do is jump into settings and what you're gonna also then wanna do is go under the Bluetooth section. So before I do that, the normal usual way to change AirPods settings is it would be straight from the main settings menu and somewhere up at the top here, you'll see your name as well as the name of your AirPods and you can just click that and then that's how you would change the settings. However, because we're not running the technically supported iOS version. To get to the settings menu, you have to go under Bluetooth and then click on the little eye icon next to the name of your AirPods. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring you into the settings menu now for the AirPods. So you get effectively all of the same settings and features that you would if you're running iOS 16. Um, however, like I said, just with a handful of them missing. So you still get uh, the active noise cancellation, so you can turn that on or off, and then you can do transparency mode, which is another thing that you can indeed do. The only thing, like I said, you do not get is the adaptive transparency mode. But anyway, you do still get the options to control for uh, the functions of each particular pod. So you can choose to have the left one be the control for the um, tr uh, noise control mode or and then if you wanted to say for the right one you wanted to turn all that off and you only wanted to use it to activate siri you could do that which is really great 
Ear tip fit test, uh, which does work, so you can do that and kind of uh, make sure you're using the right ear tip for the best sound possible. We still have automatic ear detection and connecting to this iPhone automatically, all that's still there. And transitioning of connection automatically is also still there. So once you connect these to your iOS 15 device, it will still transition seamlessly to all of your other iOS or Apple devices connected to the same Apple ID. So in my case, I have this iPhone running iOS 15, and then I have two Mac computers. I have a MacBook Pro and a Mac Studio desktop, both running uh, the latest version of macOS Monterey. Again, I do that for application support. It seamlessly transitions between those three devices perfectly. I have no issue with that, so it's really nice to see that um, the automatic transition of connection is still there and working. Um, again, ear detection, so you can turn that on and off, so that's still there. Um, then it does kind of have a little bit of a glitch, as you can see here. Um, when you go into the connect to this iPhone menu, you get this weird kind of error text down here at the bottom that says smart route underscore footer underscore iPhone accessory mod el oh model uh, name underscore 15. So that's a little bit of a weird thing and that probably should not be there. Uh, but again, that's just one of the weird little caveats of running an older version on a technically not supported device. Um, and another thing that you still get, which is great, is spatial audio. So some people did or have been saying that spatial audio doesn't work for them on an iOS 15 device. However, in my particular case, both on my iPhone and my Mac OS computers running older Mac OS versions, spatial audio still works, which is great. So you still get that. And then microphone, so you can still adjust settings for that if you want. So you can go in there and change which uh, particular pod you want to use as the microphone, or if you want to just keep it as automatic and have it automatically switch between left or right, depending on what you have in your ear at any given moment. And um, yeah, so that is basically it. And that's the process in setting up and effectively using the second gen AirPods Pro with a device running iOS 15. Now, this particular phone is an iPhone 13 Pro, um, but basically this should work with any previous iPhone that supports iOS 15. Uh, you should be able to still connect it and it should work effectively in the same way. So it's really good to know. So I hope this video helped you guys out um, and basically provided you with some information for those that may have been considering purchasing a second gen AirPods Pro on a device that has not I, that does not have iOS 16 installed. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you thought it was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.